All right, we're here with the Nokia N900. Uh, going through a quick little UI review. So here you have uh, the default home screen that a user sees right when they turn on the device. It's a um, portrait home screen that you can scroll. I'm sorry, landscape home screen that you can swipe through. You have four different home screens that you can put anything you want to on. You can add widgets for different kind of applications or tasks. You can have bookmarks, uh, so quick access to your websites, and these um, thumbnails auto update based on the sites. And then you have um, other different widgets and uh, dedicated applications. So whatever application I want to quickly access um, is right here. So I can, um, the N900 is also a phone. So pressing here opens up the phone menu, uh, which can also be used in portrait mode. Um, and then in the top left hand corner here is the multitasking and menu button. So by pressing this, it automatically shows me all the applications that are running. And then the icon changed in the top. And by pressing it again, it takes me to all my applications where I can easily select wherever I want to go. Um, it has a full Mozilla web browser. It supports Flash, Ajax, CSS. Full Flash or Flash Lite? Full Flash to 9.4. Um, yeah, so not Flash Lite, Full Flash. Um, it also supports, and, and going along that same context, uh, the automatic switching and prioritization between AT or carrier data and Wi-Fi signals. So I don't have to, if I walk into a Wi-Fi hotspot that I've already connected with, it'll just automatically switch over. It's actually very nice. Bluetooth, wireless GB, um, everything. Does the Wi-Fi radio need to stay on for that to happen? Um, it won't just automatically turn itself on and it senses the network. No, it, it will, but it's what it's doing is it's pinging every five minutes okay. to see what relevant networks are in the area. Okay. So it doesn't actually kick it on, it just quickly checks for SSIDs or however they uh, use their nerd magic to do that. Um, and then that's the result, you know, we, we get all the, the Merlin output. So, um, so I, this is how I can switch between applications easily. Um, one button push to shuffle all my songs. It supports um, a lot of the AVI codecs straight out of the box and video clips up to 2,000 kilobits a second. Um, put, it, put this in perspective, I actually downloaded a copy of Transmission the other day uh, and downloaded a copy of the Goonies in about 10 minutes from uh, one of those special sites and played it back on here. No conversion, no anything needed. It was really nice. <laughs> one of those places where you go to pay for media. Um, and that's pretty much it. Anything else?